My name is Chip. My company is Pure Solutions Incorporated and my website is purelyh2o.com. We specialize in aquarium RODI filter systems and in 2015 this has turned out to be one of our most popular selling models. It's an Optima Vision with a dual TDS meter, 100 gallon per day membrane and a flush kit. This system is what you'll get when you get it in the box and receive it at home. Um, it's going to look exactly like this. We connect all the housings together and this is what you'll have. Pull it out of the bubble wrap and this is the way it looks. Okay, it's got a dual TDS meter. Uh, the tubing's connected to it uh, via quick connect fittings. And uh, it's got a flush kit, a pressure gauge, and a 100 gallon per day membrane. The pressure gauge is so that you can tell when there's one micron sediment and one micron carbon block get full um, it, with sediment and all the chlorine and everything that it takes out. What you should do when you get initially get the filter and set it up is take a reading of your pressure. Okay, that's going to be an indicator because as soon as it starts dropping about 10 psi, you'll want to change your sediment filter and carbon block. Your your DI filter is going to change colors from top to bottom. It's going to turn from purple to gold. Okay, when you get your system, all you got to do is hook up the red tubing to this quick connect fitting. It's got a red collet right here. You'll pop it in past the O-ring. It'll pop. Okay, that's to secure that it's not going to leak at all. You'll put your yellow tubing with this quick connect elbow in this fitting. Pop past the O-ring. That's sealed and ready to go. The TDS meter is set to measure the TDS levels after your membrane and after your DI cartridge. So you'll know when you need to flush your membrane. I recommend you do it every 30 to 45 days. And you'll know when your DI is getting ready to be expended. Okay, after you run the water through both these housings, get it flushed, you pop your blue tubing into the, el the elbow on the membrane housing and you're going to turn your cold water back on, it's going to start coming out of your wastewater line, which is your black tubing right here, and it's going to start coming out the white tubing. You run your water for 30 minutes to get the preservatives off the membrane. After that's done, turn your cold water off one more time, hold your collet to the, against the fitting, pop the white tubing out, you can keep it or discard it, whatever you want to do, and take the blue tubing that leads to the DI cartridge and put it right in its place. Okay, your system's ready to go. After that, you turn the cold water back on. We've got an adapter pack in case you want to hook this to your drinking water faucet in your kitchen or bathroom or wherever. This adapts to a water faucet. If you're going to use it in your utility room, the hose bib adapter is fine. It's got a washer inside. The system comes with a wrench, but these are double O-ring housing and you can just hand tighten them and once you hand tighten them there, there's no water that should be coming out of these things we include the wrench so that you can loosen the housings uh, but I don't recommend that you use the wrench to tighten them because these are double o-ring housings and all you have to do is hand tighten them. Uh, this is the flush kit on here every 30 to 45 days after you operate I don't know how many gallons you're going to use on this thing some people use 50 gallons a week, some people use a lot less. So I'd recommend that every 35 to 45 days that you flush your system simply by running the cold water as high as you can run it and opening the flush valve just like this. That's flushing your system that, that takes all the restriction off your membrane and pulls the TDS off your membranes like giving your, your system an oil change. Uh, after you're done with a 15 minute flush, Basically just close that back again, that's your flow restrictor. It's a 100 GPD membrane inside here, so you want to flush it, like I said, once a month. Um, other than that, we've got, uh, this is a refillable DI cartridge right here. This is what's inside holding your DI. Simply, when you need to change it, it's changed color, you just take the sponge out, you fill it up. We sell bags of DI online. You just fill it back up, clean the sponge off, Put the sponge back in. We full, uh, sell a full pound of DI resin too, by the way. Um, I would recommend that when you're going to order a sediment and a carbon filter, you get a bag of DI at that time. Um, basically, that's about it.
Thank you very much, and uh, shop, please shop at PurelyH2O.com. Our toll-free number is 866-592-3713. Thanks, and have a great day.